Well, this is my next little home project. I'm going to turn this entertainment unit into a kid's kitchen for my two daughters. Um, best of all, this whole thing, free. Free off a buy, sell, swap website. There's only 10 k's from home, so picked it up and uh, saves making it from scratch or buying it. Good thing about this is a lot of the hard work's done, you just got to modify it. So I'll give you the rundown. I've already taken off the two glass doors on either side and I'll probably be removing the glass and making them solid doors. One side can be a fridge. This side might be uh, like a pantry. I'm thinking about changing these doors Instead of opening out, I'm going to move the hinges so the doors fold down. So one side can be a dishwasher and then this side can be a little oven. Up here we'll have a little cooktop and a sink and uh, painted all some nice colours. One step I did already do to make it easier to work with, as you can see, I turned it upside down and I put it on wheels so it's nice and easy to manoeuvre and when it's finished I can easily wheel it into the house. So my first step is going to be, I've already taken off the doors, take off the hinges, the shelves, um, I'll probably be giving it a light sand, I'll cut out the hole for the sink, change the hinges around and then I'll be doing a uh, undercoated sealer. Okay. Now that I've got the cabinet entertainment unit all stripped down, all the doors are off, hinges are off, hardware are off, uh, I've given a quick light sand. I'm going to give it a, just a really rough coat in undercoat. Um, before I start to put doors back on, I'll make a few cutouts for um, sinks and get it the way I want before a final coat of undercoat. Um, then I'll come back and show you what it looks like in a basic form before I start to uh, pretty it up with some colour and paint and panels and accessories. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, all the parts are taken apart. I've primed, undercoated. I've actually done uh, the final coat of white on a lot of parts. As you can see, I've cut out here. That's going to be an oven door with a sheet of glass. These two big doors, I have taken out the glass, I've nailed a piece of MDF so it's a solid door, and these two will become a pantry and fridge freezer. This little insert I've cut out, it's going to be a shelf that sits up here. So you'll be able to put little condiments and things up here for the kids. And having that cut out, means they're not going to hit their head on the shelf as well, they can actually lean in. I've got uh, my hole for my sink cut out, ready to go. And um, really we're just about at assembly. I'll get the hinges right on all the doors first before I go any further. And then I'll be able to start putting some colour on. Um, this little fleece of plier here, I've actually cut that to fit across there at the back. So that's going to be like a little splashback on the kitchen. So that's where I'm up to at the moment. And uh, when you come back, I'll have hopefully have all the doors on, everything ready in place. And I might do one more quick video just showing you the layout all plain in white. And then I'll uh, add some color and dress it up and put the accessories in for the final picture. Thank you. Okay, we're up to the exciting bit now. I've put the colour on. I've put all the doors and shelves back on. I still haven't put the oven door in because I need to put the glass in to the door first. But as you can see, I've got my shelves here. <clears throat> For my fridge, this top section will be a little freezer. And a fridge.
that's going to be the dishwasher. Over here, this is the pantry, and I'm going to try and make a little microwave to sit in there. So at the moment, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, but uh, now's the fun bit. I get to uh, dress it up and put all the knobs and handles and sinks and things like that in. And uh, I'll keep taking photos and come back when it's uh, finished, I suppose. Voila. Well, as you can see, it's all done. I am absolutely stoked with the way it's turned out. And uh, I think come Christmas morning, I'm going to have two very excited little girls. You can see it's all been decorated now. All the accessories are in. The knobs that turn for the stove. We've got knobs for the oven. This side's our fridge. Up the top we've got a little freezer. We've got an oven with a glass in now. We'll get a dishwasher. And over here we have our pantry with all our shelves. A chopping board down there. The chopping board actually is the bit of wood that I cut out the sink. So that nice little insert that that sits in there for the chopping board. All of this probably cost maximum $200 to make. Um, the cabinet was free. I modified it, painted it, all the paint's been left over paint from the girls room and the house. All these knobs and all the hinges are recycled from the cabinet. The glass is recycled from the cabinet. These stainless steel handles, I know they look fancy, but um, they were left over from when we built the house, so I didn't even buy those. Um, probably that tap was the most expensive, but um, once again at Bunnings it was only $24. The stove hot plates are cut out from MDF, rounded off and painted black. Simple stainless steel bowl that's been glued in. Nice little splashback curtains. And of course, we've got a beautiful scenery out the window. So uh, that's it, all finished. We will have um, some accessories to go in the cupboards and some little toasters and some things that the girls can use. And uh, a good idea is to collect all your empty jars and bottles that you throw out, just wash them out. I've kept them in a box so that we can fill up the pantry and the fridge with some drinks and empty bottles. So uh, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. I might just quickly add that um, next in the video, I'll actually have a whole series of still photographs from each little stage in a bit more detail, um, just to flick through the stages from start to finish so you can see just the full impact of uh, what I started with and what I've finished with. Uh, then the last clip, fingers crossed all goes well, will be Christmas morning when the girls open it up and see it for the first time. So hopefully we'll have some very excited little girls. Thank you. You're going to help open? Go. Keep going. Yeah. 
Mm. You like peanut butter? Thank mm -hmm. you. 